supine twist, one of my favorites. So supine means that we're on our back and twist means that we're twisting. Now this one, it's really important to know that if you have any sort of history with low back, be really mindful with this one. I would definitely say don't ever do a single leg twist. You can play around with the double leg twist, but again, listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, get out there. So for our supine twist, I'm gonna drop my legs over to my right. So I'm gonna plant my feet, I'm gonna lift my hips ever so slightly up and then set them down to the left. From there, I'm gonna let both of my legs fall gently to the right. So I set them over to the left so that I have a little bit more space to go into this twist. Now I just want to settle. So using that breath, inhale, softening, exhale, deepening through the twist, making sure that that opposite shoulder, so in this case, my left shoulder is grounded, I like to take my eyes in the opposite direction, so my twist goes all the way from my sacrum up through my lumbar, my thoracic, into my cervical, the back of the head and neck, back of the neck. If you want to keep your hand on your thigh, that's fine. That is always with any sort of spinal twist. Just make sure you're not pulling yourself. You do not need to yank. This is all about relaxing. Yanking does the opposite. When you're ready to come out of it, core is nice and tight. We start to plant our feet, lifting the hips up back to center and then to go to the other side we'll just lift up sit over to the side let those legs drop again if something doesn't feel good skip it your body your rules